Hello guys and welcome back to Text Connect. We are here with another helpful video. Now there was a news on 27th of January released by the Ministry of Textiles which said that the last date for filing applications to the PLI scheme has been extended to 14th Feb 2022. Wait. What is PLI? What is the scheme? What is all this buzz about? I didn't understand the PLI concept. Are all these questions running through your mind right now? क्या आपके मन में भी आपको ये सब सवाल परेशान कर रहे हैं डोंट वरी अगर आप एक स्टूडेंट या कहीं से भी टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री से जुड़े हुए हैं सो यू शुड एंड मस्ट नो व्हाट दिस स्कीम इज ऑल अबाउट एंड वी एट टेक्स कनेक्ट विल हेल्प यू गेट थ्रू दिस दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पी एल आई स्कीम फॉर टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इन द सिंपलेस्ट वे पॉसिबल सो पी एल आई मीन्स प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव इंसेंटिव का मतलब क्या होता है अ पेमेंट और अ कमीशन दैट इज गिवन टू एनकरेज द पर्सन और द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हियर द प्रोडक्शन लिंक्ड इंसेंटिव मीन्स द इंसेंटिव दैट विल बी ऑफर्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट टू द कंपनीज बेस्ड ऑन देयर प्रोडक्शन इन इंडिया लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटर सो द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू रैम्प अप द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ मैन मेड फाइबर्स एंड टेक्निकल टेक्सटाइल्स इन इंडिया जब डोमेस्टिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मतलब इंडिया में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बढ़ेगी तो इंपोर्ट बिल्स अपने आप कम हो जाएंगे इंडिया विल इंपोर्ट लेस इट एम्स टू एनकरेज लोकल कंपनीज टू सेटअप और एक्सपांड एग्जिस्टिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट्स द कंज्यूमर्स अराउंड द ग्लोब हैव स्टार्टेड शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम कॉटन टू मैन मेड फाइबर्स टू थर्ड्स ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इन टेक्सटाइल्स इज ऑफ मैन मेड फाइबर्स एंड टेक्निकल टेक्सटाइल्स बट इंडिया इज स्टिल वेरी कॉटन डोमिनेटेड Hence, to tackle this, the government of India has come up with the PLI scheme to boost domestic production, value addition, and employment generation in man-made fibers and in technical textile sector. Now, let us see what the scheme is all about and how the companies will benefit from this. The scheme has a budget of ten thousand six hundred and eighty-three crores. Also, the scheme aims to attract fresh investment of nineteen thousand crores in the sector. for the production of in demand textiles and an additional turnover for 3 lakh crore in over 5 years so it's humongous there are two schemes let us understand the scheme one now in this the enterprise or the company should invest at least 300 crore in the plant and the machinery now this should exclude the land and the administrative cost to produce the specified product Now the target to be eligible for this incentive scheme will have to be a turnover of minimum 600 crores. For this, they'll get a gestation period of 2 years. That is till the year 2024 to 25. Now the year 2022-23 and 2023-24 will be the gestation period for this scheme. Gestation period means the period allowed for the participating company for establishing their manufacturing unit and also start the production which is quite obvious and necessary now the timeline below will tell us about the incentive cycle the incentives offered under scheme 1 is 15% in the first year of eligibility and thereafter reduces by 1% each year for the next 4 years but the company needs to achieve an incremental turnover of 25% each year that means if the turnover for year 1 is 600 crores the turnover for the second year should be 25% more that is 750 crores then and only then the company will be eligible for this pli scheme incentive so for this company which has invested 300 crore at the start got a two year gestation period and it could manage a turnover of 600 crores which means that it has cleared the criteria to become eligible for the scheme incentive and for the first year it will get a 15% incentive on the turnover from the government similarly in the second year it again managed to have a 25% increase in the turnover which will again clear the criteria for the incentive for second year but the incentive now will be calculated on the difference in the turnover that is 750 minus 600 that equals 150 crores 
so the company would get an incentive of 14% on this 150 crores unlike first year and this would continue for the following years hope that is clear to you now let us have a look at the table which shows the performance year and the prescribed minimum turnover okay so now quite similar to the scheme is scheme number 2 which has a change only in the numbers rest the incentive rules remain the same here in scheme 2 the minimum investment required is 100 crores and then the turnover required will be 200 crores for the first year after the gestation period and the incentives offered by the government will be 11% 10% 9% and so on for the 5 years This is again a similar table which shows the rate of incentives for scheme number 2. Now coming down to the products. You can only manufacture something from the prescribed product list which mainly includes 40 man-made fiber apparel product lines, 14 man-made fiber fabric lines and 10 segments of the technical textile sector. These products have been selected based on the global market size. as well as india having less than a 5% share in each of them hence if india starts manufacturing these it will certainly be on a global stage and at par with other competitors also there is a certain eligibility criteria hence the company's inclusion in the scheme depends on the location the financial cap- capacity the relevant experience and the technical capability investment size and the job creation These will be selected by the textile ministry under the chairmanship of the secretary textiles. The link to the list of all the products included in this scheme is attached in the description below. Along with that you will find the link to the government page of PLI scheme wherein you can dig deeper for more information if you need. The PLI scheme has received a widespread welcome from the industry and it will give a boost in building a sector that would attract around 70 companies. These beneficiary companies with investment of around 19000 crores would create world scale capacities increased exports and much needed jobs. So yes this is it from my side that's all about PLI scheme for the textile industry refer to the video description if you still have any doubts we will be back with another informational video until then keep watching Text Connect a learning center for textiles.